So today I'm just going to do a short little introduction to why I think these OptiGuard backup solutions are important when you're running uh, a high voltage ESC system on an electric helicopter. So you may or may not know, but most helicopters we have a BEC, battery elimination circuit built in to the ESC, electric speed controller. So what that does is take a little bit of power out of your 12S or your 6S or your 4S or whatever voltage system you're running and it'll drop it down to, you should be able to configure it, but 7.4 volts and that in turn then feeds your servos with a separate, I think mine, we have a separate lead there. So you have your signal wire to the ESC and those two feed the system with power so all of your power to all your servos comes from the speed controller through the, v, the BEC. And this powers your receiver, your servos, everything takes a feed off this. Now in, in my case, I use this machine for like fast forward flight and I've got a 200 amp PSC. It runs on 12S and up, I pull up to 200 amps at times, literally 11 degrees of pitch and I'm nearly two 2000 RPM head speed. So the risk of the ESC blowing is quite high. I mean, I don't, it shouldn't blow, I've spec'd it so that it shouldn't, but if ever it does blow, you're gonna lose the model because your BEC is gonna fail. You've lost all power to everything. That's where these guys come in handy. So this is from OptiGuard. I've literally, I've just, this has just arrived from, I think it was Midland Helicopters again. But uh, all it is, is basically a standalone battery. So we'll talk about that in a sec. So it's just a little standalone LiPo 2S pack. And all it does, you plug it into a spare port on your receiver. You plug the, the pack. There's just, it's literally a 2S battery pack and a small circuit board. And that circuit board monitors the voltage which is at these two pins from your, we'll call it the BEC system. So your electrical system that powers all your servos. And if ever there's a momentary dip or it comes down or we've lost power, this has stopped supplying, our BEC stops supplying the servos. This automatically springs into life and takes over. So that basically if ever you lose power to anything, this little device will jump in and control your circuitry. So you'll have power to your receiver and your servos. You won't have power to your motor, obviously, because this is only gonna power your electrical system. But in the event of a power failure from your ESC, it should give you just enough time to perform an auto, or at least level the heli, or just, just remain under control without power. So, I mean, I've had to do a couple of autos in the early days with my nitros when I'd, uh, seized and burnt out cylinders and stuff but yeah this is quite a good little a little tool just to have alongside your normal system if all's running right you shouldn't either know it's fitted to the helicopter but it's just definitely worth having one just sat there monitoring your voltage so going into it a little bit deeper you also have this little thing here so this is just an led indicator and it literally plugs in just plugs in there like that. So now, when you unplug the battery at the end of a flight, so you've just finished flying, this is connected to your model, you've done, you, you don't really touch this. You've just unplugged your battery, all of a sudden that light will start flashing and this takes over the power. So you have to press and hold that button and that stops. That, that'll turn this off then, put it back into sleep mode automatically balances the cells inside there. So as you're flying, this also takes a bit of feed. It will also charge this 2S pack from the receiver circuit. Doesn't affect it or anything like that. And if you've got a substantial BEC system, it's not a problem. So now I'll do a short demonstration of what actually happens when you do unplug the battery. So for the purpose of this video, I've had to break out Speedy as uh, she's already got one already got an OptiGuard fitted and it's all wired in so it just saves me messing about. So transmitter's on, 
my model's armed on the TX. I'm going to uh, just fit a pack and arm the heli. Okay, so let that configure. So that's all happy. So now I'm not sure whether you can hear it. But the fan's running on the ESC. The ESC is providing power to the receiver now. So I'll just pick her up. And bring her around. There we go. That's a better view. That's a better view there. Right, so the BEC is feeding the receiver. The receiver is feeding the flybarless controller. So all of the power to everything on this model, the servos, the receiver, the fan, every, everything is coming from the BEC on the ESC. So in the event of a power failure, so imagine I'm flying along and uh, literally that red light means that I think we're charging so at the minute it's just charging but there should be already enough power inside that little system to take over so in the event my speed controller blows as I'm flying so I'm going to just simulate it pretty much I'm just going to disconnect it you'll see we've got a really bright bright flashing strobe now I've still got power complete power to all the cyclics on board so we've still still got the rudder the fans still running and I've got really bright high intensity LEDs and they're my visual indicator that I've lost power so I can bring off the collective and try and bring it into an auto get it down onto the ground now in normal circumstances when I've just finished flying just press that little button there And that's just turned this little pack off. It's stopped feeding the fan. Everything's completely dead now. So the only thing is when you do finish flying, you have to obviously unplug the model. That normally just kills everything, but it will keep running until you press the button. So you have to mount this somewhere where it's easy to access the, uh, the button to, to stop it. I think as you leave it, it should, I'm not sure whether it, I'll have to have a read up. I think it will discharge itself into a storage capacity as well. So it doesn't blow the pack or, but yeah, they're really good bits of kit. And right now I've, I wouldn't fly without one. The, uh, the lights are daisy chainable as well. So you can have, I've got two lights on this model, one on either side, but you can buy these separate. And basically all you do, that end goes straight into this bit here. And then this end, you have two plugs. So you can buy another one of these wire it into there, then daisy chain off, which is what I've done on this model here. So I've got, let's just turn it around a little bit. I've got a light that side, a fitted one there, and I've got one on the opposite side. Yeah, we're all good, but right now I wouldn't fly without one. Just in case anything happened, it just gives you that last fighting chance of getting the model back. I'll just give you one more demonstration. So you just come to the model, Plug in. And that's it. So everything's working, all your collective. Happy days, I'll put it into hold. All good. Then I'll unplug a battery. So imagine the BEC's failed as we're flying. We've still got no battery, no BEC, we've still got everything working for about a minute or two, I think. I've had it running for a minute, but yeah, that strobe is super bright as well. Press and hold the button and she goes to sleep. And that's that. I definitely wouldn't fly a large electric model without one. Nitros are a little bit different. In my Nitro, I've got, um, it's just pretty much a 2S pack, 5,000 milliamp power. And I, it, it's literally, that is plugged straight in to the receiver and the 
the side clicks and all my flight controls. It's pretty much just plug it straight in. I made up a Y lead with an XT60 connector, I think. So everything's hardwired in. I've got an XT60 hanging, which just feeds everything I've got. The likelihood of, of that pack failing is next to none. And then it's, even if it did fail or come down in voltage, I've got something on the side that shows you. But yeah, with things like this, where it's an electronic device feeding your power, go for it. You can't go wrong. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.